Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up a local server on Windows 11 using IIS and in this following video we will go step by step to enable IIS, configure a website and host a simple HTML page. So let's get started. So first let's enable the IIS and for that we need to log on to our Windows 11 machine and here on the Windows Start menu, we will search for the Windows features turn on and off. But let me show you a little, you know, a shortcut key that how you can directly jump to that option. So open the Run Utility and type appviz.cpl and click OK. And it will directly navigate you to the programs and feature. And here you have Turn Windows feature on and off. And once you click here, you can see that there are different features that are not enabled by default in your windows 11 environment so here let's locate the ias which is there internet information services so make sure the world wide web services is enabled so expand it and first make the check here and see which services it will be enabled once you run this process so once you find out that your required services are selected then click ok and it will search for the required file and then apply the changes and ask for the restart so once your machine powered on after the restart you will see that this service will be in action so let's wait for the changes to be applied now the changes has been applied and Windows completely completed the requested changes. So let's click to the close and again click to the close the program and feature and it didn't ask to restart the computer. So that's good. And now let's verify it and here open your browser and type HTTP colon not HTTPS double forward slash localhost and press enter and there you go that you are seeing the IAS home page and this is the default IAS welcome page and now let's configure a website so for that we need to open the IAS manager and for that we are going to type Windows R to open the run utility so let's open it by right click on the start and open the run and here we're going to type in at MGR and press enter and it will directly jump you to the Internet Information Services Manager, the IS Manager. And here you can see that once you open it, there are a lot more options. But here all you need to do is to expand the sites. And here you can select the default website and you will see its physical path, which is the C and to jump into that path you need to right click and click to explore so here you can see that it will show you its physical path like this so you can relocate and change this physical path as you want so this is the physical path which you have identified now to test our server let's add a simple HTML page so here what we're going to do to add this HTML page, we will right click here to create a text document. And here, let's type the notepad. And here it is available and it is open. Now here we are going to create a file name index.html inside this directory so let's open it from there and let's directly create the notepad file here in this folder and if you're able to directly create the notepad file so let's resume the notepad file and click to save as and name it as index dot html and let's save this file on this directory so let's copy 
the directory from here and paste it there and there's the directory and click to save and click yes and see whether the file has been created here now this folder is not letting us to directly save the file on this directory so what we have done we have created the file in the document folder and pasted the file here and now you can refresh your local host and you can see you can find out the changes that you have made on this website and right after copying the file let's refresh this localhost page and here you can see that there is no text and nothing is display and there's no welcome page of IAS why because you have added this index.html so let's delete the page from here because there is nothing mentioned and nothing is configured and coded in this HTML file that's why you see this blank page and once you delete it so it again reverts you back to the welcome page of IAS and now this time let's add some HTML code to this file and then see how the output will be look like so let's click to save and go to the document and copy the file from here then paste and now let's refresh the page and there you go as we have added some code in that file and now it is replicated and reflected on our localhost web page so this is the way you can configure you can add your html page in your local web server and if you are facing some connectivity issues so you can check your windows firewall and allow this worldwide web services through the firewall to ensure external access and how you can do that you need to type windows defender firewall and here you need to go to the allow apps and feature through the windows defender firewall and click to the change setting and here you need to look for this specific service worldwide web services is http and you need to enable it on both public and private domain and you need to make check here and once you verify that the check is already there then click ok and this is the way you can manage the access of your local web page well congratulations you have successfully set up your local web server on windows 11 using ias now you can develop and test websites locally before deploying them to a live server. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials.